So Pascal asked whether I could show how to do a progressive ANOVA with the example of two species and four sites. So this is basically an analysis of variance which we run on the Procrustes coordinates, and then we use it to partition variance in size or shape among the individuals and then the residual component. And the ANOVA basically tests whether individual variation is significantly larger than M. So I've got my combined data set. If I just show the classifiers, we've got uh, two species and four sites. And then we can do a Procrustes fit on these coordinates. As so. And then next, once we've done the Procrustes fit, we have our Procrustes coordinates and we can do the Procrustes ANOVA. So depending on what we've learned, we'll look at whether we want to compare um, between species or sites. Just pick so. And now we've got our results. So you've got firstly the SS, which is the sum of squares. Um, so this is basically representing the uh, variance of the group mean, but in a single value. Then we've got the mean square value, which is the equivalent to the sum of squares divided by the degrees of freedom, which is why they're the same there, because degrees of freedom are one. The degrees of freedom basically represents the number of independent values um, that statistical analysis can estimate. And pretty much the higher the degree of freedom, the larger the sample size, and the more power we have to re really uh, reject the false null hypothesis and then find a significant result. So the F value is used to calculate the P value to show significance, and it's equal to the variance of the group mean divided by the mean of the within group variance. And then we've got our P value. So this has been calculated from the F value. And if it is under 0 0.05, then it means we have a significant result. So you can see here we've got our size and our shape. So size doesn't significantly differ between the species, but shape does.